welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and I'm delighted to be joined with the filmmaker of Beat Lingo. Love it so much. Jose, who's all the way from Florida. How are you doing, Jose? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm delighted you'll be joining us next week for the film festival. Um, yes. I'm so happy you'll be coming to, to visit us at New Filmmakers LA. Uh, can't wait to talk about your film, but for those that haven't seen it, let's take a look at the clip. Mrs. Spencer, as you're aware, Marcus is not deaf. However, Marcus will never be able to talk. Marcus, you don't have to hide. Life's not fair. It'll never be fair. And as much as you and I want to be, I'm not going to be forever. You're just like the rest of those other kids. They just have to get to know you better. Um. Man, what a great film you did, honestly. Um, and, and I just want to say for those that, you know, may have not seen your film yet, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, so the film tells a story of young Marcus, who's a uh, reserved, uh, you know, boy who suffers from mutism, has been homeschooled all his life. And in our film, it picks up where he actually starts real school for the first time. And so, you know, as you can imagine, uh, you know, he has to tackle all those challenges being in a new school and, mm -hmm. you know, having to deal with the fact that he's mute and he can't speak. But there is a hidden gift that he's been holding and hiding from the world. And that is that he's a prodigy beatboxer. And that is the way he ultimately expresses himself to the world. Um, Jose, I, I can't tell you how much I loved your film. Um, yeah. Many moons ago, I worked with new kids um, and, um, you know, experiencing that and every single kid that, you know, struggle with uh, their vocation has super, super talents. And I'm so glad in this film you highlighted that in, in this in this fantastic young filmmaker, uh, sorry, young actor. And uh, you did such a great job. Where did the inspiration come for you, um, Jose, in, in, in making this turn this story into a film? Yeah, so I was uh, talking to one of my friends who's a, who's a writer, a uh, long, long time friend. And, you know, we were kind of going back and forth with some ideas. And he said, man, I have this idea of this, of a mute boy, but he's a product, he's a beatboxer. And I, I instantly fell in love with that, like the duality of this boy who, um, who can't speak, but the same, you know, this that what holds him back ultimately is also what kind of makes him special, right? Yeah. Uh, and so when when I thought about it and, and we kind of like 
through the ideas around, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Let's, let's develop it into a short. And um, sure enough, that's what I did. <laughs> so that's you know, how, that's how it, it just really kind of came about like that. You know, the, for the love of music, I think, you know, having, I have a, a lot of, I love music. Um, and, uh, and so I think that that really and kind of just touched something inside of me of, of, be, of saying, you know, I kind of, I, I, I love this idea, you know, this musical yeah. aspect, you know, and the fact that music really resonates with so many people and can be a language in itself, you know, so yeah. we can communicate through the different, you know, different cultures, um, can relate to, to each other because a lot of times because they have their same sounds or mm -hmm. um you know just the musical aspect of it is really i feel what just you know just really uh just took my interest in, in developing it i can't i couldn't agree more i think music is is, is, is a language you're absolutely right about that i mean and it, it's certainly translated in, in in this film and, and music kind of saved us all as well you know in many respects yeah um and i one thing i loved um jose is the way like i honestly forgot sometimes i was watching a film i thought i was watching a documentary it felt that real you know like and that's credit to, to you as a filmmaker and to your amazing actors like the mm -hmm. dynamic between the mother and son felt so real about how she was felt so protective over her son like she would right about yeah. and then you know i have to be honest with you not many people are able to get that school environment so real so perfection to how it actually is in a school today and you did it so well with well, i think all the characters were like it was such true conversation that you would expect to see i think sometimes it's always a bit mechanical but you really nailed it i thought especially and i thought you did a great job on that um, tell us a little bit about the dynamics and bringing in your cast and your actors because your cast was superb. I, I fell in love with with the, your main character, the best friend, the mom, the, the ensemble. That you know, everybody was just great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, we um, we shot shot it here in Miami, and we work with we work with all the local agencies in uh, well, not just in here in Miami, but all throughout of Florida. And we had, I think it was like eight auditions, eight actually like eight casting days, audition That's days. That's a lot. Yeah, so we had a lot, we saw a lot of kids. Um, thankfully, we were thankful we, we, that we saw uh, kids that have worked with Disney, Netflix, you know, wow. HBO, a lot of talented kids. Yeah. You know, and I think that when you're dealing with a protagonist, your character, and he can't speak, right? He's mute. All the emotion has to be right there, you know, has yeah. to be right here in the face, you know? And so yeah. I think that that was the biggest challenge, you know, is because so many of these kids, they, they were, I mean, they just blew us away. But Marcus, uh, his name's Corvante, the, the actor that plays Marcus, our main character, okay. his name's Corvante Davis. And I mean, he came into the, he came into our audition and I, I, you know, looking at him, I, I wasn't, you know, I was, I wasn't really blown away. But then, I mean, when it was like action, his emotions were right there, you know. And yeah. That, it felt so raw. I, I immediately, like in the audition, I was like, "This is, he's, he's Marcus. This is our boy. This is our kid." Wow. And it was just, it was just that, just you know, the raw emotions that he that he was able to express without even having to say anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I knew it, no, yeah. I know you, you pinpointed that and it came out as well. Like, you know, when you, even just those moments when he's got his headphones on, he's in his bed and he's, you know, just, just, just either listen to music or just feeling or just thinking um, that came across so well. And, and the rest, and, and how is it like, I mean, cause you had to work with quite a large number of young people as well. And you've got that dynamic really cool in a school. It was really, really effective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I loved it. I loved it. I, this is a, treat, a dream come true for me. I'm so humbled. I'm so thankful to be able to have the opportunities that I have, just being able to, you know, have a script, to meet all these talented actors, uh, the people behind the camera. And so I'm very, I enjoy what I do. I love it. I love the process. It's never easy, you know, when you're on set, when you're working on a movie. 
it's never going to be easy, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it. And I think that that's yeah. a, a very important ingredient because, yep. you know, even if things aren't, you know, little things don't go as planned or even big things don't go as planned. We're all in the same ship. We're all in the same boat and we all want to make an amazing movie. And for me, that motivates me. I mean, I, I love yeah. going on set, love working with the, the, I mean, the kids are, they're professionals. Let me tell you, they're true professionals. And so they made it easy for me to be able to work with them. They absorbed everything. Uh, our actors, you know, our ensemble, they really understood the story. They, they, they uh, connected with the story. And ultimately, I think that really made it easy for, for all of us. I, I, I had a fun time making this film. It was amazing. And we did, we had a lot of extras working in the school with kids, but man, let me tell you what a special bunch. And these kids are truly amazing. They're talented and they're as excited as, as, as I am working on this film, you know? So well, was, you make it, was, it, was it was fun on the set. You make it fun on the set by the sound of it, Jose. So credit yeah. to you for, for, for making it fun and a great experience. And like you say, you should be able to enjoy the film and the process. And, you know, if you got everything yeah. together, it should be, should be grand. Um, yeah. You know, leading on from that, like what, what, what's your kind of dynamic as a, as a director? Like when you're working with your actors, especially, you know, um, you know, kind of, you know, with the actors with, with either high, high, high expectation, no, sorry, like, you know, high conflicts or, or things that are about them. How, yeah. how do you work with your actors? I mean, I thought the mother and, some was a great dynamic too. She was a brilliant actress. And I, I you know, how, how is your process as a director working with your actors? Yeah, you know, I think that I give them the respect. I give them that space to really, you know, do what they do, you know, bring a little bit of, of their own experiences into that character. There's something that we see when we cast, when I, when I, when I cast, I do my castings, I really take my time. And I believe that, that they're there for a reason. You know, these are professionals. And so I give them that respect. I give them that space to, to explore, you know, the character. Mm -hmm. And I think giving them that, um, you know, it, it's, it's serious work, right? It's very serious. You know, we go in there, <laughs> we're there to work and they're there to work. And so I maintain that, you know, I, 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 I'm like, I treat them like, hey, do you guys are professionals. I trust in you. And I think that, God, that's worked so well, you know, yeah. so well. And if I ever feel like there needs to be a, 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 um, a modification of some sort, then, you know, I, I just talk to them, give them kind of my insight, my view, but I always give them that option. Right. Yeah. I say, hey, look, you know, why don't we try it this way mm -hmm. um, and then see where it goes. But I think that once, as a director, once you've earned an actor's trust, they're willing to go above and beyond. You know? Absolutely. You're so true about that. You're so true. Sure. So did you have to hire a beatbox? I mean, did you have beatbox as part of the, 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 the breakdown with these actors? Yes, yes, yes. So that's, you know, it, we had so... That's one thing I loved about this project. You know, we were aiming, we were, <laughs> we were in over our heads, but that's, 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 if it's an easy project, right? Yeah. right? yeah. Yeah. You have to have some, 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 uh, some obstacles, right? It can't be easy. And I think that that's ultimately when you get something special, when it's not easy. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And yeah, we had, we had beatboxers. So we hired uh, a very well-known beatboxer. His name's Kamikaze, super talented. And so Kamikaze hit. It, 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 it's kamikaze who you actually are listening to when marcus is beatboxing oh nice so yeah so it's actually kamikaze but we brought a number of beatboxers because obviously they were a few beatboxers you know these kids were not beatboxers they were I, bet not, they were I bet they were enjoying to learn this on set like you know yeah yeah yeah, boxes, yeah, right? the re yeah the rehearsals were were just so much fun you know yeah. but they were they weren't rappers you know, mm -hmm. they weren't beatboxers. These kids weren't, you know, beatboxers. And so we had, um, you know, a number of different uh, lyricists and rappers come into our rehearsals to work with um, Ke Caroline, who's the, yeah. who's the girl uh, that befriends Marcus. And uh, she did an amazing job. And but but she, it took brilliant. a lot. Of yeah, it took a lot of rehearsals, you know, to kind of catch the beat, you know, to be on that beat, to, you know, the word plays. 
so yeah, we had we had you know we had a number of lyricists, writers, rappers come on come on board, um, and uh, and beatboxers. So Kamikaze worked directly with the with the actors that were beatboxing, and then we had wow. training. We had a bunch of you know beatboxing sessions, and so yeah, that I think that that was probably other than casting and finding our Marcus, you know, Corvante Davis, which took a while. I think that the biggest obstacle that we had was to get these kids ready and prepared to be yeah. boxed and to rap on camera and to, and to, and to really sell it, you know, because that's, yeah. that's amazing. You, I mean, that's, excuse me, that's very important is to be able Absolutely. to sell the world that you're, you're, you know, you're portraying, you're putting out there. For sure, and you put in the work, and it paid off. So, I mean, I'm I'm glad to hear that story, and that's such a wonderful thing that you did, you know, to kind of incorporate that to make sure it was, you know, going to work the way that it should. Um, you know, I also love as well. I mean, the dynamic for, of school life. It's not easy being in high school, you know, and it takes that one friend to befriend you, to make you feel comfortable in an environment, and yeah. then also on top of that, like that one thing that you could be good at that can just change your life at school, you know, like you know whether it be sports, music. You know, and I thought that dynamic was so lovely to see, you know, him and his element, you know, and, and, and how that can change his whole school experience. You know, and I thought that's so true of what it's like in school. You know, it's yeah. like that one thing you want to feel confident in that, that tender age to be good at. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. And, you know, I'm I related to Marcus so much because I'm an immigrant. I came from Nicaragua when I was maybe six years old, you know, uh -huh. Uh, migrant parents and so when I went to school I had a lot of trouble communicating because of my accent I have a, I had a very heavy accent and so I related to him a lot because I, it was hard you know going to school and some people you know when you're different you tend to be made yeah. fun of, right yeah and so, and so you but you know I will say this when you go through experiences, uh, hardships, or you know, you know, hard experiences. Uh, that really makes you a stronger person, and I feel sure. that that's what I wanted Marcus to have. You know, our character. Yeah. I wanted him to not have it easy, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, ultimately, he, he ultimately he, there's a blessing there, mm -hmm. uh, and a gift. You know, his gift of beatboxing. Um, and so, you know, we all have, yeah, you know, we, he, he, you know, we have our hard times, but like they say, th that those times are what really makes us, right? And That's so, so true. You could either you could either sink or swim, and I think most of us choose to swim. We want to live. We want to have a voice. Yeah. We want people to hear us, and yeah. you know, life is never easy, but it's always beautiful. And I think that that's very important for our story and Marcus there had to be a little bit of that struggle for him yeah. to overcome it. And, you know, it's reality, you know, and especially down here in Miami, it's a little bit tough. Schools are tough. Kids are tough. And so um, I really wanted to, to show that. I wanted to make yeah. it reality. So thank you for mentioning that because and that means a lot. We really wanted to bring a little bit of that realism um, into this. And, and I'm happy that it, it really came through. Oh, I mean, I can, I mean, this is, I could talk about this for days. I mean, the only sad thing I would say is that about your film is I wanted more. I was like, no, dog, why is it going to end? I want to know what's going on. What, 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 who wins? Like, what, can we see the battle? Like, I want this. I need this. Right. So I was yeah, like, yeah. you know, that, and that could be, that's a blessing. Cause like, you know, I was in love with the characters in this world you created for us. So it leads me to say, what is next for you, Jose? Yes. Well, so I'm ha very happy that we have actually been getting a lot of, uh, interest in 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 this film and we are developing a feature yes so that's what i want to hear yeah yeah we're in the works uh, we've been very blessed uh, it's such a humbling experience for us to have you know uh just the response with this film has been very very just humbling and we're happy and so yes th there has been there there is a, you know a feature in the works we're very happy to to, to say that I'm um I'm also developing uh, two shows, trying to stay busy. Obviously, I'm a writer, so I'm developing a couple shows, and uh, I'm uh, gonna premiere another short film that I've been working on, 
It's called A Week Before Dawn, and that will be premiering sometime next year. Um, and so, yeah, just trying to stay busy, trying to stay busy, writing right. a lot, developing a lot, um, working on, uh, another, you know, two, two features. One of them is Beat Lingo, and another right. one is a crime drama that I'm developing down here in, in Miami. So uh, That's amazing. Staying, staying busy, staying busy. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad I'm I'm so glad your artistic vision is in this in this field in this in the field of movement image. Um, I'm really happy to hear there's a feature film, um, you know, for this project because I, I really I'm desperate for more. Okay, I'm gonna say it on camera I'm desperate for the feature, right? But uh, I'm also really proud to hear about the other projects that are in the process. And so I just want to say thank you so much for being Beat Lingo. We're so excited to have you at our film festival. Welcome to the family. And thank, thank you so much for this conversation today. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. You know, I hope you guys enjoy Beat Lingo. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. I'm happy thank to be you, here. Jose. I'm excited to be here and I'm, I can't wait to, uh, to get this thing going. <laughs> thank you, mate. Appreciate you. Yeah.